Well, welcome back to the Needy Homesteader channel, you guys. Brand new camera, brand new mic, fingers crossed this works well, and that you can hear me and see me okay. So today, brand new series here in the month of January in 2021 <laughs> here on the Needy Homesteader channel called the Canning Revolution Workshop. So I reached out to you in another video asking where you guys were in your canning journey. And in that video, I got over 500 comments along with emails and private messages, people that texted me along with a, um, my inner circle membership group. Uh, if you guys aren't a part of that, um, I will leave a link down below to that if you would like to join. That's that's for anyone who needs a little bit more uh, community um, of like-minded people as you're going through your journey to becoming a home food preservationist, along with some more one-on-one -on -one time and connection with me uh, in the ability to be able to text me on the phone anytime you have a question. So if you're interested in something like that, join us down below. We have almost 200 members now. It's so exciting. So. Um, I reached out to you guys about where you were in your journey and went through hundreds and hundreds of comments. And I was really, I have to be honest, you guys, I was taken back a, back a little bit because I realized how many of you out there are afraid of, of putting your canner on the stove. Some of you haven't even taken your canners out of the box. So originally when I wanted to do this series with you guys, I wanted to kind of walk you through as a beginner canner, um, some canning sessions. Um, but after talking to many of you and reading your comments, um, I spent a lot of time thinking and praying over this. And I realized that another canning video isn't what many of you need. Now, some of you who are already canning uh, and want just some more inspiration, I will leave a link down below to my canning uh, playlist where I have, I think, 144 videos. I also have, I think, another 19 videos for beginners there uh, in another playlist. There are so many canners here on YouTube uh, that you can gather inspiration from. Um, I would say those are the places that you should look and you are not the person that I am trying to reach at the moment. <laughs> right now, I want to reach all of you who are like, Heather, I have a canner and it's been in the attic. Heather, I've had, I have a canner and it's still in the trunk of my car from months ago when I bought it. Heather, I've taken out my canner and I've set it on my stove, but I am so overwhelmed and I'm so frightened that I, I, I haven't even used it yet. You're the person that I wanna reach because there are so many of you. In fact, I wanna say uh, about 90% of you who want to can so badly, but don't know where to start you're terrified of blowing up your house. You're terrified of poisoning your family. Um, you don't know even how to organize and set up, so you don't even know where to begin. So for me, it doesn't matter how many canning videos you see of me making jam or jelly or barbecue sauce or canning chicken. None of that is going to help you if you if we can't work past the fear of you using your canner. So this month, I am reaching out to you. Uh, those of you who are afraid of, of your canner. And we are going to work through those fears. We're going to step through it. <laughs> I'm also going to be setting up some mock canning sessions for you guys. So we're going to walk through the steps of a canning session without actually canning anything. We're not going to throw in a recipe or, you know, whether or not jam is setting and, and dealing with pectin and all of that. We're not gonna do any of that until we get you through the canning process, okay? So we're gonna walk through a mock canning uh, session for water bath canning. We're gonna walk through a mock session of pressure canning. I've also <laughs> called in some, some muscle <laughs> to help me do this because as I'm, and I wanna put a disclosure out there, I'm not a master canner. I have not taken any formal classes. I've just been canning now for um, almost going on seven years. So 
with that being said, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know everything, right? I, I, I'm on this journey with you. I'm just a few steps ahead of you. That's the only difference. So I called in some reinforcements that can help me help you. I pressure can with an all-American canner. Um, I don't use a Presto. I don't use a glass top stove. I can on gas with an all-American canner. So when you guys come to me and you say, Heather, you know, I have a Presto, I feel like I can't really help you as much as I want to. Uh, same goes with canning on a glass top stove. So I've reached out to two friends, <laughs> two uh, uh, fellow canning queens here on YouTube, uh, Manti from More to Life and Michelle over from All Sorts. And I have asked them to be guest content creators here on the, on the Needy Homesteader channel. So what they are going to be doing is making content specifically for you. Mandy is going to be talking about the Presto Canner specifically, and Michelle is going to be talking specifically on canning on a glass top stove for you guys, which she has been doing for a couple of years now. And they are going to make videos here on the Needy Homesteader channel to help guide you through those if you're a Presto canner or if you're a canner that will be canning on glass top. And so the, uh, so we can help more of you uh, through your canning journey and getting started in your canning journey. And I'm so excited about this. You know, uh, <laughs> I've often said if uh, if there's going to be a revolution, let it be a canning revolution. Many of you have said it in my comment sections as well. And so that's what we're going to do here. We're going to start a canning revolution. The reality is we're entering 2021 and there are so many of you that have it on your heart to learn life skills to help you preserve food for your family, to build a pantry, to grow a garden, to preserve food. And I want to help you on that journey. I know what it feels like to start on that journey and not know <laughs> what I was doing. Thankfully, I had many uh, canning queens here on YouTube at the time that reached out to me to help give me a hand up and uh, pass the baton to me. And that is my job here. I really believe um, that God has led me to helping you. So I am here for you. I am here to cheer you on and support you and help you as much as I can. For those of you who need a little more one-on-one -on -one help, um, again, you're, you're going to want to check into my um, membership for the inner circle where you can have my, um, my phone number in order to text me. We'll also have a, we have like a support group going where people are leaning in to one another for that additional extra help, uh, building friendships and um, building a really uh, an inner circle community of uh, home food preservationists. It's it's so exciting. So with that, I want to. Th this is my mission statement to you. From here to the end of January, I really want to get you to a point where your canner is out and you are ready to can. You are confident in the steps. You are conf confident in the procedure. You are confident in knowing and understanding why it is you have to do the steps that you have to do in order to can from the beginning to the end. And you are gonna be on your way to becoming a canning king or a canning queen, okay? Before we can get you there though, there, there is one thing I'm going to ask you to do okay and we are going to talk about equipment i'm going to go through exactly what i own what i use um we're going to talk about all that in an upcoming video but first and foremost i want you to get your hands on this book whether it be a hard copy where you're going to order it i'm going to leave a link down below to where you can order this it runs about nine dollars this is the usda complete guide to home canning um you need this. Now, there are a lot of canning books out there. Ball is famous for theirs, the Ball Blue Book, and they have some fantastic uh, canning books out there. But I want you to gather the basic knowledge from the USDA on how to do this, okay? Why headspace is important. 
what you can, it, somebody had left me a message saying, Heather, I'm just so confused of what I could, what I water bath can and what I need a pressure can. I don't know, the, I don't know the difference. I don't know when I'm supposed to have one canner over the other. This is going to explain all of that to you. It's going to, it's going to teach you pH. It's going to teach you elevation and why elevation is important. Uh, I had one lady coming to me who has been canning for 30 years, all at the wrong elevation. Okay, so this is going to explain to you why all of those things are so important when you're canning. And uh, this book is also going to be your go to book if, you know, goodness forbid, uh, we don't have internet, if you don't have power, if you can't get online. Where do you go when you lose power and your freezers are thawing downstairs and you've got three freezers full of, you know, of food, of, of meat, of vegetables? How do you put those in jars and put them on your shelf and get them shelf stable? This is what you're going to need. If you don't have power, you might not have access to online. Okay, so I need you to read this. If you if you cannot uh, afford, as, as one of my, um, <laughs> one of my friends said, you can't. You, if you're going to can, you can't not afford to have this in your arsenal. But that being said, you can print this off uh, for free uh, in a PDF file. I will leave the link down below to the website where you can do this from the USDA. You can print it out. You can put it in a three ring binder and um, you can do it that way. Many people either, you know, some people love being able to print it out for free because it's completely free if you do that. But some people don't have a printer or ink or, you know, the, the means to be able to print that out. And in that case, you can order this online from Amazon for $9, okay? So I need you guys to pick this book up and then I need you to read it. So that's your homework. <laughs> your homework so again in here it is going to explain to you all about uh high acid foods to low acid foods um to getting the food the right temperature in the center part of the jar which is what we need to do um to be able to kill off any um any any kind of organisms so you guys i'm super excited about this i have um i have spent many a nights with you all on my heart and um i really want to get you to the point where you're all confident enough to bring out those canners and to get canning you know the reality is i can show you canning videos all day long and you could be so excited like i want to do that oh i want to do that i want to make that i want to make that but at the end of the day you guys if you're too afraid to put that canner on your stove and run a session, or if you feel too overwhelmed with the whole uh, setup process and the and the prep work that goes into canning, then canning's not gonna be enjoyable for you and you're just gonna feel overwhelmed and you're never gonna get to that point. And I really wanna help you cheer you on, hold your hand and get you to that point. So at the end of this month, we're all going to be canning and it's going to be fantastic. Hopefully we'll all be putting in some kind of garden, whether it be a small patio garden or, you know, a big half acre garden, uh, whatever it is on your heart that you feel like you want to do. Um, even going to farmer's markets and putting food by, uh, buying food from a farmer's market um, or the grocery store, whatever your goal is for you in your pantry, I want to help you get there. And so I've got uh, a lot of uh, good informational videos coming up for you. Uh, we are going to walk slowly through this. We're going to walk through the fear. Besides this, I want you to pull out your canners and read the manual because every canner works a little bit differently. So spend some time reading your manual. And um, I'm going to be seeing you here in another couple of days uh, because I am going to go through the equipment that I personally use and own. And, um, and then we are going to set up a workstation. I'm going to show you, you know, somebody asked me, Heather, when you can, I, I notice that you have certain things laid out all the time pretty similar. I don't know how to do that. Can you show me how to do that? 
I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you what I do. Again, what I do isn't the right, isn't the right way. It's just the way that works for me. You will find your own groove through your journey to canning. Uh, things that are a little easier for you, things that you enjoy, um, things that you like to can. Uh, it's going to be it's gonna be your own journey and I'm so excited to be a part of it, even if it's just a little part with you guys. So um, if you have any questions, leave them down below for me. Um, but I have, I have a lot of my heart that I'm gonna be hopefully working towards getting you where you want to be and uh, we're going to do it together okay you guys aren't alone and down below in the comment section there are a lot of people that are in the same boat as you so uh, we're all going to do this together and by the end of january you guys are going to be canning and i'm so excited for you with that i'm going to let you guys go and i will be seeing you here in the next day or two um, with an equipment video of what i use what i love and um and hopefully that will help you out on uh, tools that you need to um to get in order to start canning all right guys i will be seeing you in a couple of days bye guys